guys welcome back to my channel so uh i decided to uh record a few videos today so let's see how far i get <laughs> obviously they're not all gonna go up uh at the same time but uh yeah so for those of you guys who don't know my name is lena and uh i talk about uh developing a better mindset i talk about self-growth i talk about my experiences dealing with anxiety and depression uh the old story which uh i mentioned in my last video uh, that is definitely an old story now but uh i also talk about manifesting and uh awakening and awareness and uh my experiences with uh with that process so uh, if you're interested hit the subscribe button the little bell notification and uh let's get into it okay so in my last video i talked about uh how i had been gone for a while off of youtube and uh how i wanted to kind of transition now into uh talking about uh manifesting and my experiences with awakening and the understanding that we're all part of the same awareness we're all part of the same consciousness and uh, a big part of like a big part of being able to under like to really understand that is uh, i think is learning to be silent be still with yourself so when i when I first started to, uh, uh, like overcome my anxiety and depression, I, like, I, I spent a lot of time reflecting, but my mind would always go like a million miles an hour. Right. And I, these flood, these, this flood of thought, uh, various thoughts would like consistently bombard me and I just like it was almost impossible to sit still with myself to reflect and just calm my mind and uh, I'm able to do that now it took me uh it probably took like when I really uh started understanding uh that we like we create what we see in our 3d world right that uh that we have control over it because our thoughts and and our reactions to various situations and people and things uh manifest and our assumptions manifest and uh and externalize in our world right so uh so everything we experience we've we've entered a state of consciousness in order to or to various states in order to manifest what we see so uh when i first started to realize that uh truly realized that last year and i started to meditate and just uh, sit still with my thoughts they just they flooded in and and you know i would like all this random stuff still only this time i was aware that they were just thoughts so then i had to then i had to uh kind of take a look at those thoughts and uh and and deter and some i would just let go because they were just random crap you know and then and then there were certain ones that i realized really reflected like deep ingrained beliefs and assumptions within me so it probably took about a good two to three months before i was able to sit still and not have those thoughts like bombard me where i could sit still and for uh for you know short lengths of time 
just be aware like just see nothing but but space right and um it was then that i was really able to concentrate on uh only the thoughts that i really wanted to have right thoughts that would reshape my beliefs and reshape my assumptions about about my life about uh the circumstances um that i encounter and what i see in my external reality so it takes practice but it's such a place of peace now and uh i even find so i can so i could sit still even in the middle of the day now and just like and just calm my thoughts and just sit and be aware of uh, of what is coming into my into my mind now random crap still comes in you know i do, i don't watch the news very often but every once in a while you know, I'll, I'll log on to like MSN or something, or I'll be scrolling through Facebook or whatever, and I'll see um, certain, uh, you know, news headlines and stuff like that. And Or every once in a while, I'll watch a random YouTube video just, just because <laughs> most of the time I'm pretty, I'm pretty um, particular about what I watch uh what i read but every once in a while you know i'll be like well let me just watch this random beauty youtuber or whatever uh or watch this random movie and then i find like if i if i go to like just be still with myself like a random scene from a movie or like a random scene from like a youtube video or something will pop into my head and i'm like okay this has no place in my life, really. Why am I thinking about this? So again, that's why I'm really particular about what I watch, <laughs> what I read, is because when I'm still with myself, when I am trying to be really present, I don't need random crap that has no real eff like effect on my life. I don't need those thoughts. <laughs> so again, I'm just really particular, but um, I'm able to, to be present with myself now and, and just feel like an immense sense of, of peace and being aware of what I am thinking allows me to kind of weed out anything that I don't want and concentrate on, uh, on thoughts of what I do want to experience in my life. Because again, our beliefs, our assumptions, our reactions, um, our thoughts, they create. So why, so why not, so why not be able to, uh, to think about the things that you want to experience, right? Rather than recreating the, the things that you don't. So I, at first, when I started meditating, I had to do so uh, by listening to um, uh, like man or watch, not well, watching certain YouTube videos, but really just listening um, to, uh, to like guided meditations and stuff like that. I don't really do that anymore. Uh, and actually, even though I have some really great, like favorite channels, uh, Rising Higher Meditation is one. Uh, Jason Stevenson is another. Uh, channels I love for uh, for uh, guided meditation. Uh, but I can't always listen to them now, uh, especially at night, like when I'm laying down to go to bed. I much prefer just to be alone in like this this space with my thoughts and uh and i just find that to be so peaceful and i'm i'm able to really observe what i'm what i'm thinking so anyway my point is that learning to be still 
with your thoughts, to be present with your yourself will go a long way in, um, in helping you to uh, come to a, an understanding of, uh, of conscious awareness and understanding that we all are one because um, it's hard to explain, but just, but you will. Okay. Uh, and again, it may take some, it may take some practice, but don't give up on it. Uh, just, you know, keep at it if that's something you're interested in doing. And especially if you deal with anxiety, especially if you deal with it, with depression, when you're alone with your thoughts and, and those things like start to bump, to bombard your mind, I want you to ask yourself, why am I having these thoughts? Is this really who I am? And I want to encourage you to not identify with those thoughts, with those feelings, because it is not who you are. Okay, you are not anxious. You are not depressed. All right. Uh, so try to learn to detach from from those identifiers because it's not who you are. And if you're persistent, okay, and you know, and, and being able to observe your thoughts and then and then ask yourself those questions, you'll soon realize that no, it's not who you are. Okay. And then uh you'll be able to get to the the bottom of uh why you have those certain thoughts and then and then eventually come to an understanding that um that they're that they're just they're just thoughts okay so again as i do with in all my videos because i just i don't plan honestly i don't really plan out like exactly what i'm gonna say i get on here and and then whatever i'm inspired to say is what i say and i don't edit so before I ramble on too much longer, uh, again, I just, I wanted to get on here and, and talk about the importance of being still, being present with yourself, being present with your thoughts, and getting to a point of being able to calm them down. And then um, the ones that, the thoughts that are just like random and don't matter, being able to let them go. And then the thoughts that are like ingrained beliefs and assumptions within you being able to work through those and then finding a sense of peace. So anyway, all right, I'm going to close out this video. But uh, again, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, the little bell notification, uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below and then I will see you in the next video. All right, you guys have a great day and uh, we'll see you next time.